now we will discuss other concepts of language learning which include competence versus performance competence according to chomsky is the native speaker's knowledge of his language system of rules mastered and the ability to understand and produce infinite number of sentences so competence refers to speaker's knowledge of his mother tongue complete knowledge of the language as well as the grammatical rules that he or she has mastered not only that but the ability to understand those rules and produce infinite number of sentences based on the understanding of his or her native language competence is the mental reality which is responsible for all those aspects of language use which can be characterized as linguistic so basically the cognition and the mental process of the understanding of the language system and then all the components which are there in one's own language which constitutes as the linguistic understanding of the language it is concerned with the knowledge as well as internalizing it whether to use it or not and handle factors successfully that may cause interference in the actual behavior so competency lies is not only the mastering of the linguistic knowledge but also the ability to use it appropriately and be able to handle those factors which are causing interference or obstructing the production of that language key features of competence it is quite similar to long and priol the concepts introduced by ferdinand de saussure he was a swiss linguist and he introduced the concepts of long and priol long is basically the competency the underlying knowledge of a language and priol refers to the performance of those knowledge unconscious knowledge of grammar so competency deals with the unconscious knowledge of grammar because grammar is there is present in the mind and therefore that knowledge becomes unconscious knowledge of language is observed as implicit not explicit since the perception is the presence of the language in the mind chomsky linked competence to an idealized speaker hearer which means that in terms of interaction in terms of expressing there is no ambiguity between the speaker and hearer and there is no deficiency in terms of the understanding of the message competence can be measured and assessed since it's an ability therefore it can be tested it can be evaluated performance as opposed to competence is the actual use of language in concrete situation so performance deals with what actually takes place in a real situation whereas competence deals with the understanding or knowledge of a language performance requires extra linguistic knowledge such as an awareness of the speaker audience and the context which crucially determines how speech is constructed and analyzed when something to takes place in a real situation in terms of speech in terms of expression of a language then speaker audience and context play a very crucial role in terms of the construction of a speech that how that speech is going to be analyzed in a given situation 
So performance is the actual doing of something. It is an indicator of competence. Good performance points to good competition. Performance is reflection of competence. Whatever competency one has, when he or she performs, that action reflects the ability that one possesses. Key features of performance. Prowl, as I have already mentioned earlier, describes the physical manifestation of long, which is competence. So according to Saussure, performance is the physical manifestation of competence. And therefore, performance is also the physical manifestation of competence. Performance can be full of errors. One can have the competency, one can have the knowledge and awareness, but when it is performing, it can have errors. Performance and its products are complex phenomena due to speaker hearers, linguistic competence, speech production, memory, dialectical environment, idiolect and individual style, factual knowledge, health and emotional state and other related factors. These factors influence performance and product based on performance when it takes place in a given situation. The best example to understand in terms of competence versus performance is that one can have knowledge of language in terms of vocabulary, sentence structure, pragmatic information, phonological information, but when it comes to actually performance, there is no guarantee that one can deliver or perform appropriately. In this example, which is in front of you at the moment, you can see that the thinking of Tarzan is there. He has the right words to express. He has the right vocabulary to express. But when it comes to actual state, he comes up with inappropriate words to express. Therefore, performance can have errors and having competence is not enough unless and until there is a specific knowledge or appropriate knowledge how that competence is utilized in a given situation. To conclude, Chomsky separates competence and performance. He describes competence as an idealized capacity that is located as a psychological or mental property or function and performance as a production of actual utterances.